hello edgar hello good evening good evening how are you i'm very well how about you i am doing great very happy to be here uh, sounds great yeah hey you have a new location today yes <laughs> okay good so many of them are connecting uh, now now they are sending the homework <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, todo mandando la tarea. Right? <laughs> yeah, money. And it was a very money. easy thing to do. So it was it was very quick and, and easy. Yeah. But that was nice. It was a very good practice for <clears throat> for the comparisons. Okay, exactly. Something else. Okay, we have a message in the chat. Well, everybody, I'm going to write there. We are waiting for all of you, I'll say. So we are waiting for all of you. Okay, in the chat. Done. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Reinita, Katherine. And for sure, I welcome Edgar already. Thank you. Good okay. evening, teacher. Good evening, sweetie. How was your weekend? What did you do? Did you enjoy it? Uh... No. <laughs> <laughs> no, why? Um work, work, work. <laughs> you had to work. Oh my god. So okay. it is it is pretty complicated when you need to work and we have to work during the weekend. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> I do that every weekend. And it is pretty it's tiring in some cases, right? I work Saturday and Sunday, and it's really, really tiring. But <laughs> But once you like what you do, it's like you talk. Okay. Pensé que no iba a venir a clase temprano porque voy a llegar todo desde Usulután. Oh, really? Sí. Oh, my God. No, but you <laughs> see. Que I am tired. <laughs> I imagine. I imagine that you feel tired. But thank God you are here, right? Lo importante es que ya están aquí. Hello, Isabo. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Jose. Nidia. Ever. Hi, everyone. Hello. No. So today we are going to be working a little Hello, bit. Hello, teacher. Hello, sweetie. We are going to be working a little bit on the on the comparative forms as as right the different uses of of these words, and we are going to be talking about wishes as well, right? And that's what we are going to be de developing today. So. I wanted to start the class with a little practice on uh, adjectives. But first of all, first of all, before moving on the adjectives, I need you please to get an object. Get an object, any object that you have that you consider curious or strange. Algún objeto que tengan ahí cerca, que lo consideren extraño o, o raro. Get an object because you're going to use it. Busquen un objeto que tengan cerca que consideren extraño o raro. And get it there. Show it to me. Show it to me and keep it there. Cualquier objeto que tengan ahí cerca. Que vean raro o extraño. That you say, ah, this one. Uh -huh. Can you show it to me? Muéstrenmelo mm. cuando ya lo tengan. I'm looking for it. For it for <laughs> any, <that. laughs> any object, any object. Okay, it can be any object. Okay, oh. my, my bottle. <laughs> Your bottle. Whatever. Okay, the remote, good. Okay, the the glasses case. Okay, for the for the earphones, good. Ever, what is that? Oh, it's a timer, right? Yeah, it's a it's a sound clock. It's a sound clock, good. Cecilia, <laughs> you have it. Oh, Jose Fernando, yeah, chess piece, very good. What about the rest? What do you have? I need to see the rest. Let me see mine. And cha -cha -chan. I will use, hmm, let me see. <laughs> I have so many things here. I will use this one, this, this thing. I will use, it. this is mine. Okay, this is my object. What about the rest? I need to see the rest of you. I need to see the objects that you have. Okay, Edson, what is your object? 
Good evening. Hi, good evening. Ah, I sent you to look for a curious object. Los mandé a buscar un objeto curioso que tengan ahí cerca. Oh. Cualquiera. Okay. Any object. Uh, give me one second. Please. Okay. <laughs> Catherine, what do you have? <laughs> okay, that's a, a correction pen. Good. Eduardo Jose, what do you have? Oh, a ball. Very good. Keep it there because you're going to use it. Ahí tengan lo que ya lo vamos a usar. Okay, keep your object, keep your object. So we're going to start talking about the different adjectives that you can use when you talk about your house, right? We have it bright. What is the meaning of bright? Bright. It's like a brilliant. 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 It's with a lot of light. It's shiny, it's bright, right? Art. Brillante, brillante, pero de iluminada, right? It's very it's light. Art. Sparkling, wow. very good. Comparable. Edson, what is it? Show it. <laughs> what is that? What is it? It's because of your background. I cannot see it. Okay. Tricky tracker. No. <laughs> es, eh, ¿cómo le explico? Como para hacer masaje. Ah. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> it looks, it looks horrible mm -hmm. there you go now i can see it very well okay i was like what is that I said, <laughs> okay comfortable comfortable what is the meaning of comfortable comfortable it's like ah. comodo. comodo very good convenient what is the meaning of convenient conveniente conveniente, conveniente. right cramp what is the meaning of cramp cramp when you put everything in the same room, look at the pictures that we have here. Cramp and comfortable. Let me move it a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, this one. Cramp. There you have cramp. Exactly, but when you have everything on the same place, you feel cramp. Como atascado, apretado. It's like cold. Estrecho, right? <laughs> Exactly, right? Cramp. It's like, oh no. <laughs> it's like, se vende apartamento, 500. <laughs> Con espacio. Las cajitas de fósforo que es. And then you have it, that it's very, very <laughs> cramp or small. What about dangerous? Peligros. 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 <laughs> yes. Dark? Oh. Dark is oscuro. Oscuro, right? It is the opposite of? What is the opposite of dark? Light. Light or bright. Good. Bright. bright. What about dingy? What is the meaning of dingy? Sucio. It's sucio, right? Sucio. Dingy. That it's very, very uh, disorganized or it's, it's very horrible. Like dingy. Expensive. Caro. Caro, right? Caro. Caro. Huge. Gigante. Huge. Gigante. Gigante. Grande. Enorme, right? What is the opposite of huge? Little. Small. Little small. or small. Very good. What about inconvenient? Inconvenient. Okay, that it's, it's not convenient, right? It's inconvenient. Modern. 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 Moderno. Noisy. Ruidoso. Ruidoso, right? Private. Privado. Very good. Quiet. Silencioso. Silencioso, right? Silencioso, callado. Safe. Seguro. Seguro. What is the opposite of safe? Dangerous. Dangerous, right? Dangerous. What about shabby? What is the meaning of shabby? Arruinado. Arruinado. Oh, en, mal en mal estado, right? That's the meaning of shabby. What about a small? Pequeño. Pequeño. Pequeño, right? Small. And spacious? Espacioso. Espacioso. So, in the chat, in the chat, I need you to send me a sentence describing your neighborhood or your house. So you can say, my house is... And you are going to use different adjectives that you have there. 
My house is, for example, comfortable, bright, and uh, let's see, and beautiful. Spacious. Spacious, right? You can use spacious, right? That's my description. And you can write, for example, about your neighborhood. You say, my neighborhood is noisy, <laughs> dingy, <laughs> and uh, let's see. And what, uh, what other I can use for my neighborhood? Yeah, quiet. <laughs> and quiet, right? I have two definitions there. One for my neighborhood. And one for my house. You can talk about your house or your neighborhood. Me pueden hablar de su colonia o de su casa. But use different adjectives that you have here to describe it. And you can send it on the chat. Go ahead. I will give you around two or three minutes to send it on the chat. Aquí en el chat donde les envié las demás. Send your example. My neighborhood is private. Okay. Mayúscula al principio, punto al final. Remember. Very, very noisy. Noisy, con Y. My house is spacious, safe, and convenient. Nice. Continue sending. My house is dark, they say on the chat. <laughs> Okay, it was dangerous some years ago. Now it's not dangerous anymore. My Uy, ¿a quién se cayó? Recójanmelo. My house is spacious, they say. My house is bright because it it has too many windows and it is located in a convenient neighborhood. Good, very good. My house is spacious, bright and neat, beautiful. My house is quiet. They say my house is very comfortable, con M, right? Comfortable and bright. My house is comfortable, private, and quiet. Nice, Nidia, very beautiful. Okay, so as you can see there, as you can see there on all the different examples that you sent me, you are using different adjectives to describe how places look, right? And some of these adjectives are positive and some others are negative. For example, in the case of dingy, dingy is because it's dirty and it's like not beautiful or something. It can be negative, but uh, expensive in some cases can be negative, right? Because it's too expensive, right? Apartamento para cinco personas, they say, $600. <laughs> and it's very small and cramped. So that can be a negative thing. Uh, for example, shabby is a. Uh, negative dangerous dark is negative right but most of the rest are uh, positive now i told you to have your object ready right el objeto que les pedí donde está where is your object get it get it get it get it you are going to use it right you are going to use it right now in the conversation in the conversation i am mr dean and you are mrs dean Ustedes van a ser Mrs. Dean, todos ustedes are Mrs. Dean, and I am Mr. Dean and Jenny, okay? This is your telephone. We're going to be on the conversation, okay? El objeto que tienen es el teléfono, así que buzo. Vamos a estar en la conversación. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Eh, what do you think about the place? What do you think? Hello? What do you think? Uh-huh. Well, 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 it has, it has just, just a bedroom, 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 uh -huh. bedroom and the last, last apartment, just, apartment, just and, and, and the living room, the living room is the house. Is, 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 is what? Is, and the living room 
It's huge. Ah, huge. Oh, it's huge. huge. Uh -huh. huge. But the bedroom, but the bedrooms are too small, and there isn't enough closet space for my clothes. Uh, and and it's not But that apartment was dark and dingy, and it was in a dangerous neighborhood. Let's see. 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 In this one, probably the internet. <laughs> yeah, the problem is the the internet is the problem. Okay, so good. Uh, okay, okay. Let me see. <laughs> I need three volunteers. Three volunteers. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Me. Okay. I need hands up because no, no, I will me, me, me. Entre 30 me, me, me. No lo hay. Edgar, it's one. Ever is another one, and Edson. Right now, you three. Okay. Ever. Edson and Edgar. Hey, the three E's. Okay. <laughs> Telefonos listos? Where are you? Where's your phone? Edgar, where's your phone? <laughs> where, is you your your phone? <laughs> where is your phone? Where is your phone? teacher. <laughs> your weird phone. <laughs> <Yes>. uh, <laughs> That's very small. <laughs> okay. Edson, you are Mr. Dean. Edgar, you are uh, Jenny. And Ever, you are Mrs. Dean. Okay. Action. With your phone, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I cannot listen to you. Action. What do you think? Well, it has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment, and the living room is huge. But the bedrooms but are too small, and there isn't enough closet space for my clothes. I, I think I, I am Jen. Jen. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> but but the bedrooms are too small and there isn't enough closet space. Next. And um, it's not uh, cheap as the last apartment we saw. But that apartment was dark and dingy, and it had a new glass in a dangerous neighborhood. Let's see. Let's see. If the real estate agent has something else to show us. <laughs> very good job, very good job. Excellent, very nice. Now, Ever, choose another person. Edgar, choose another person. And Edson, choose another person. Escojanme uno más, cada uno. Okay. Go ahead. Um, Isabel. The victim. Isabel. Isabel. The, big, the victim, the victim. Let the me see. The victim. Uh huh. Um, let me see. I chose Cesar Guadalupe. Okay, Cesar, Isabel, and Eduardo Melgar. Eduardo. Okay. Eduardo, Isabel, and Cesar. Okay. Don't send your telephone. Where is your phone? Where is your object? Objeto. <laughs> Ah, you're in. Cesar, come on. <laughs> Eduardo, what is your object? Ah, the ball. Okay, good. <laughs> Isabo. <laughs> nice. Action. Isabo, you start. Wow. What do you think? What do you think, Cesar? Well. It has just as many bedrooms as the last one. Well, it has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment, and the living room is huge. Eduardo? But the bedrooms are too small, and there isn't enough closet space for my clothes. And it's now as cheap as the last apartment. But that but that apartment was dark and dingy, and it was 
Avenger is neighborhood. Let's see if the real estate agent has something else to show us. Okay, very good job. Agent, agent. Excellent job, excellent job. Isabel, give me another person. Eduardo, another person. And Cesar, another person. Jesus Benitez, because has a camera turned off. <laughs> Jesus, porque apagó la cámara. <laughs> Excellent. César. Elvira. Elvira. Good. And let's see. Isabel. Jenny Elizabeth. Jenny. Okay. Your objects. Jesus. Elvira. Jenny. Where are your objects? Hey, my object. Your object. Jenny, what is your object? <laughs> what is it? Oh, my God. And Elvira? Elvira, Elvira, where are you? It's, it's in another call. Ah, it's in another call. Huh. Catherine, can you help me? Okay, Catherine, Jenny, and uh, Jesus. Go ahead. Very good job. <laughs> I want to be Jenny. Jenny, Jenny is going Please. to be Jenny. <laughs> Okay, Jenny is Jenny, Jesus is Mr. Dean, and uh, Catherine is Mrs. Dean. Go ahead. Uh, hello, what do you do? What do you think? Well, it has just a many bedroom, has the last apartment, and the living room is hook, hook. But the bedrooms are too small. And there, is, and there isn't enough closet space for my clothes. And it's not as cheap as the last apartment we saw. But that apartment was dark and dingy. And it was in a dangerous neighborhood. Let's see. Let's see if the real estate agent has something else to show us. Okay, very good job. Very good job. Yay. Jenny as yes, Jenny. <laughs> yeah. Teacher, I don't have I have a very weak signal. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody's internet is kind of I don't know. It's it's different. It's not working very well. Thank you very much to all my beautiful volunteers. Fantastic job, the one that you did. So in this conversation, we had uh, some evaluations and comparisons. How do you work with evaluations and comparisons? Evaluations is when you say, mm -hmm, it's not big enough. It's not as beautiful as I imagined. It's too small. Uh, there aren't enough rooms. There isn't enough space. So that is to evaluate when you say that you like something or not. In the next one, you have comparisons with adjectives and nouns. And I send you one exercise uh, from this on uh, the chat today. I send you one exercise to use as and as, right? And in this case, when you use as and as, you use the normal form of the verb. You say, this is not as cheap as this one. This is not as beautiful as the other one. This is not as spacious as, right? We have to use it in the two forms. And in these ones, you say, it doesn't have as many bedrooms as the other one. It has just as many bedrooms as the last one we saw. So for this one, I have something here that I wanted to show you in my presentation, right? When you evaluate with adjectives and nouns, important, enough goes after the adjective, okay? When you say it's not big enough, is not modern enough, is not spacious enough. The rooms aren't light enough, right? This is when you want to specify that it's not big enough. No es lo suficientemente grande. No es lo suficientemente moderno. So if you want to specify in this case, enough goes after the adjective, right? And two comes before the adjective. It is too small. It is too big. It is too crowded, right? Too comes 
before the adjective. Okay, and enough after the adjective. Here we have some examples of sentences. Let me see. I need someone who helped me to read the sentences that we have here with the adjectives. I'm going to ask uh, Isabel, can you help me to read the first one and then Ever is going to help me with the next ones? Isabel. The apartment isn't big enough for us. Very good. Ever? The building <laughs> is not modern enough. The building is not modern enough. Cesar Guadalupe. It isn't. There you have. Can you help me to read the example here? Is it isn't spacious enough? Very good. It isn't spacious enough. Catherine. The rooms aren't light enough. The rooms aren't light enough. Jesus, can you help me with the examples with enough, with nouns? Houses don't have enough. Okay, okay, okay. Perdi a Jesus. Where are you? Your microphone, Jesus. <laughs> it's up. <laughs> Sorry, uh, houses don't houses don't have enough closets. Very good. What is the difference here? Por qué ocupamos enough antes y no después? Por el negativo. No. Mm, no. No, 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 no. Uh, and the, the nouns, nouns. Because it is a noun, right? When you have an adjective, enough goes after the adjective. But when you have a noun, enough comes before the noun. You say, I don't have enough space. I don't have enough clothes. I don't have enough closets. I don't have enough parking, right? There isn't enough space, okay? These ones are with the nouns and these ones are with the adjectives. And what about with the word to? And it says here, we are going to go and read the next examples, okay? Give me the, uh, the next ones. Ever, can you help me to read the next examples with enough? Here, my building. My building doesn't have enough parking. My building doesn't have enough parking. Good. What about the next one? Everybody, can you help me to read the next example? There isn't. There isn't, isn't there enough, isn't enough, enough space. space. There isn't enough space, right? There isn't enough space. And the last one, the last one, the streets. The street doesn't have enough light. The streets doesn't have enough light right? Like the ones in our country. In some streets, you don't have enough light. What about the use of to? To with an adjective, and here you have it, to with an adjective, it's before the adjective, right? You say it's too small, it's too hot, it's too messy. And with the nouns, it also goes at the beginning, right? It's too much noise, too much space, too much garbage, right? With uh, the nouns, it is very common to say too much or too many, right? But with the adjectives, you say too small, too hot, too messy. El Salvador is too what? Small. Too small. Too short. Small. It's too, too small. short. No, too small because it's an it's an object. El Salvador is too beautiful. Small. small. It's too beautiful. <laughs> it's too too messy. It's too crazy. Too crazy. <laughs> too cramped, right? We are too cramped. Too we safe. Don't... Too expensive. It's too safe. <laughs> too, too expensive, right? Cuando decimos it's too safe, es que es como negativo. Es demasiado sano, demasiado seguro, <laughs> right? But it's good. We have too much. What? Too much. Traffic. We have too many noise. <laughs> okay, too much noise. Too many Car. cars. Too many cars. cars. Motorcycles. Too many, too many motorcycles. We have too many motorcycles. We have too many people. 
right? It's it's enough. <laughs> I think we have enough people in El Salvador, right? We don't want more. We have a lot. We have too much traffic, too much uh, like pollution. Pollution is contamination, right? Too much pollution. Yeah. Here we have the use of as and as with uh, adjectives. We have as plus adjective, as many, we have a count noun, and as much with a non count noun. For example, here, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses are just as convenient as apartments, and the location is just as good as the other one, right? This was the exercise that I sent you on the chat. And here, apartments have just as many rooms as houses. What is the next example? Apartments, Apartments don't, have don't have as uh, much privacy, uh, privacy as houses. As houses. And then, yeah, for sure, right? We don't have as many bedrooms as we had. We don't have as many bedrooms as we have. The next one, there aren't there aren't as many good there restaurants as many good restaurants around. Okay, there aren't as many good restaurants around. And the last one? We don't have, we don't as, have much as much privacy. privacy. Yes. As all, all 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 Very all good. Place. We don't have as much privacy as we have in our old place, right? So this is not really complicated to use, right? You don't make any change on the adjective when you are using it. And here I have a short example, right? And in this one, you have for I, you, he, she, it, we, and they, you use the specific form of the verb to be. I am, you are, he is, or she is. If it is negative, you say not, as. But if it is an affirmative sentence, you say as, and the adjective as, okay? And I have one example here. My brother isn't as old as Patrick. And here we have another one. Australia is big, Canada is bigger. How can you make that sentence? Australia is big, but Canada is bigger. Australia is grande, Canada is más grande. Más grande. It is as big, son iguales las dos? No, right? No, Canada so is bigger than Australia. Exactly, so we say, Australia, Australia is not as big as, big as, as Canada. 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 Okay. And here we have que Australia no es tan grande como Canada because Canada is bigger than Australia, right? So that is the difference. Let's try to build up the following sentences. I have here some examples for you. And I am going to allow you to work together on this. Okay, I am very tired. Kevin is also very tired. Iceland is colder than England. This car is expensive. That chair is also expensive. Andrew is lazier, lazier than Wendy. And Carol and David are both 10 years old. And in this one, I am going to send it to your chat. Se lo voy a enviar ahorita al chat. Right now, I have the sentences here. And we are going to work in couples, okay? Vamos a trabajar en parejas. And we are going to complete these sentences. You have to write them down on your notebook, okay? Using this form of comparatives. Not as or as as, okay? You have it on your chat right now. Se los envía todos a WhatsApp. And we are going to work on this okay i am going to send you to working couples and we will make it okay okay puntito para todos there you go and here we go okay i have groups of two and three very good go to work and let's complete the sentences excellent
Ok, Jesús, le digo la invitación. Yes. José Daniel. Nidia, did you get my invitation? Sí, ya estoy. Ok. Ok, José Fernando. There you go. Elvira, no te llegó mi invitación para los grupos. Estoy en mi trabajo, teacher. Oh, ok, 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 ok. Don't worry, ok. Disculpe. Don't worry, don't worry. Stay here. I am going to go and check the groups, ok. You can stay here, don't worry. Okay. Hello, teacher. <laughs> oh, hi. Okay. We are working right now on the, the third one, right? I yeah. can see. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. I am just checking. Don't worry. This chair is expensive. Chair is chair. Also expensive. <laughs> that chair is also expensive. This chair is. Okay. No. Okay. 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 Sería, I am eh, has tired. Has? Has Kevin. Very good. Is. There it is. You say, I has, am as tired as Kevin. as Kevin. Just like that. I am as tired. As Kevin. As Kevin. Estoy tan cansado como Kevin. So that's, that's it. I am as tired as Kevin. La otra sería, Iceland is the most. Okay, what is the sentence? Iceland is the colder, most. Iceland is colder than England. So you say, Iceland is not as? Ah, okay. It's not it's... as colder as England. Okay, as colder, no. Cuando hacemos la comparación as, as, el adjetivo va normal. Iceland is okay. not as cold as, as cold, cold as England. Very good job. As cold okay. as, as England. Very good. Okay. Okay, continue. I am going to check on the next group. Ya los dejo encaminado. Okay. Thank I you will go sure. with the next one. Okay. Gracias. Entonces esa sería... Hi, teacher. Uh, we have a, a question. I think, yeah. Tell me. We have we troubles, do... serious troubles, teacher. <laughs> no, tell me. <laughs> Which one? Con cual? With the seven, something. Number seven. Let me see. Okay, okay. It says number seven. Carol and David are both 10 years old. When you say are both 10 years old, it means that they are in the same level. Can, so? can be... For example, Carol as 10 years old as David? Mm, no. How do you say? Estamos igual de viejo, decimos, por ejemplo. So you say, Carol is as old as Kevin. Okay. Tienen la misma edad. As old. Or is as age? No, at all. Decimos as old porque es cuando tenemos como la misma edad. Okay. 
as old as Kevin and David. Uh, Carol uh, and David, David sorry. as old as David. No, Carol. Oh. Carol is as and old David, as Carol, David. Carol is old. No, okay. No, uh, Carol. Carol is, is old as is, old. Is, uh, is uh, as David. As old as David. Carol is as old as David. Yes. Okay, because teacher, in the other okay. way, in the other form, will be like, Carol has 10 years old as David. But that sentence will be like, ah, what? It sounds strange, right? But if you say, no, she's as old as me. Significa que tenemos la misma edad. She is as old as me. Okay. And that's, okay, can you give me, can you read the other sentences for me, please? ¿Cómo okay. tienen las otras? ¿Me pueden enseñar cómo dejaron las otras? Number, yes. eh, number three. This is the three. first sentence. Uh -huh. This is the first sentence. Teacher. Ah, you started Carol from the bottom. So, as baby. Okay, empezaron yeah. de las siete para allá. Okay, number six, you haven't done it. And you is laser than Wendy. Okay, uh -huh. let's try. Andrew, Andrew is is as laser. Mm, no, cuando is, ocupamos as, ocupamos el verbo en la forma, el, el adjetivo en la forma normal. Andrew is lazier than Wendy. Andrew is lazier than Wendy. Andrew is lazier than Wendy. Uh -huh. Andrew is lazier than Wendy. Pero quedaría entonces Andrew is Andrew Andrew is más perezoso que Wendy. Uh -huh. Andrew is más perezoso que Wendy. Andrew is Andrew no es tan no Andrew no es tan I don't know no here is I don't know teacher because Andrew is more laser but uh -huh, no more in the case of that Wendy, Wendy is, not is not laser is not uh, Wendy as... not laser as Andrew okay lazier or lazy lazy Porque se ocupa de la forma normal, yeah. right? Andrew is not as lazy as... I'm oh, sorry. Wendy is not as lazy as Andrew. Andrew. Okay, Andrew. there you go. Andrew yes. is not... Uh, Wendy is not as lazy as Andrew, right? Yes. And in this one, we have David... I'm oh, sorry, Carol. Carol is as old as... David. Okay. That is the first one. What about the next one? That you have. This chair is expensive. Uh -huh. the, the chair is also expensive. They are. This chair is expensive. This the other one is also expensive. Is as this chair expensive is as expensive as, as the another one. Okay. So you say this chair. Chair is, is as as expensive. As expensive as, as the another okay. one. The other one. The other one. Okay. The other one. Uh, this chair is as expensive as the other one. What about this Iceland, one? Iceland is golden than England. It's similar. England, yeah. It's similar to Andrew. Uh huh. And, and we can is, we can express that sentence. England is. So you say, colder, positive colder. Uh, is no, in that case, cold. because you have one that is the winner. Okay. Iceland is colder than England, right? Iceland es como es la más helada que. So you say England okay. is not as cold as Iceland. Okay. So there you go. Finish the last one, okay? Hagan la última. Go work in the last one. I am very tired. Am Kevin very is tired. also Kevin tired. Is... I am tired and Kevin is tired. So it's equal. Okay. 
So you say? I am as tired as Kevin. Very good job. I am as tired as Kevin. Very good job. Yo estoy so tan cansado. So Kevin, Kevin and I are equally we are, tired. We are university students. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are as tired as Kevin. Okay, so I am going to stop sharing here with you and I am going to go with the groups and I will bring everybody back. Okay, voy a traer a todos de regreso. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, and I am very happy to have you back. Very good. So, it was challenging, but not impossible. Fue retador, pero no imposible. The exercise. It, you had to analyze a little bit. Era de analizarle un poquito al, ex, al ejercicio. But it was, it was nice and easy. Let's see. I will wait for everybody to come back. Teacher. Yes? I have a question. The answer number seven. Uh -huh. the, the question. Eh, eh, Quedó, bueno, nos quedó con Alejandra, no sé si nos equivocamos, pero teníamos como una duda, porque dice, Carol and David are both 10 years old. Ajá. Entonces, no sé, pusimos Carol is 10 years old as David. Ok, good. I got the same question in another group. Fuimos a otro grupo y que tenían la misma duda. But uh -huh. I am going to check on the sentences right now. I am going to check on everybody's right now. And then we're going to see the answers. First of all, first of all, ok, antes que nada suceda, le voy a pasar lista, después terminamos el ejercicio. And then eh, I give you the answers, ok. Le voy a pasar lista primero y después terminamos esto. Let's see. I am here. Okay. Ah, and about the uh, the advancement on the platform, people, and uh, the advancement on the on the attendance. Ustedes dicen, no, pero de repente qué pasó? Si yo aquí he estado todos los días, que no sé qué. One minute can make a difference. Un minutito hace la diferencia. Dos minutitos, tres minutitos. So please try to connect on time. O sea, siempre traten de conectarse a tiempo. ¿Para qué? Porque se me dice, es que me conecté 9 y 10, teacher, y yo ahí estuve. Yes, but these 10 minutes are the difference, right? These 5, 7 minutes that you connect after are the ones that affect, right? So please try to be on time. And so when, uh, when the class starts, everybody's here. Que okay, así no se conectan después, ya se van conectando como 5 o 10 minutos después, porque eso es lo que nos baja la asistencia. Y no es que tengamos 20%, sino que es 44, 45%, 49.9%, but it's important, right? One minute makes the difference. And please, so try to connect every day. Aún cuando a veces estemos enfermos, estemos muy, muy ocupados, traten siempre de conectarse aunque sea de oyentes. Se ve ahí de que Mire, estoy bien enferma, no puedo hablar, pero aquí estoy, right? Hoy tenía una chica que tenía una laringitis aguda, pero estaba en cámara nada más y en chat, just like that. So it, it was, it's a matter of getting with the days, okay? So please stay on time, stay on time. Alejandra Beatriz. Here, teacher. Thank you. Angélica. Cecilia de Los Ángeles. Here, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let me see, I have. Let me move this one a little bit. There we go. Okay. Cecilia, yes. Eh, Cesar Guadalupe. Thank you. 
here. He says, Edgar Abel, thank you very much. Here, teacher. Edson. Present, teacher. Eduardo Jose. Present, teacher. Elvira. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ever Ernesto. Present, teacher. Isabel. Advierta. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jenny Elizabeth. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jeremiah Ezequiel. Joana Yesenia. Okay, Jeremiah and Joana. No. Okay. Si ven de repente que alguien me escribe en el chat, me avisa. Okay, very good. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Jose Fernando. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Katherine Stephanie. Oh, Katherine Alejandra, sorry. Present. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm changing your names. I am changing <laughs> names here. Let me see. I have the chat. Who is in the chat? Cesar Guadalupe. Okay, good. Let's continue. I have Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel, Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel, where are you? Miguel Angel, perdí a Miguel Angel. Mira, aquí andaba. Lidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Raúl de Jesús. Present teacher. Reina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Samuel Isaac. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. And Jancy Astrid. Jancy. Jancy. Ok. Perdimos a Yancy. Ok. Good. So, let's continue. I am going to go over the exercise and I'm going to share my screen with everybody so we can complete the sentences. Ok. So, we are back here. Thank you very much for the attendance. The first sentence, it says, I am very tired. Kevin is also very tired. So, in the level of comparison, we are equally tired, right? So, it says, how will be this sentence like? ¿Cómo quedaría esta oración? I am as tired as Kevin. I am as tired as Kevin, right? I am as tired as Kevin. Because we are equally tired, right? I am as tired as Kevin. I am as tired as Kevin. Okay, aquí nadie gana de quien está más cansado que el otro. I am as tired as Kevin. What about this one? Iceland is colder than England. So here we have a winner, right? Iceland is colder than England. So, Iceland, Iceland is not as cold as England. Okay, Iceland is not as cold as England. Estamos diciendo que Islandia no es tan helada como Inglaterra. Pero ¿cuál es la más fría? Iceland. Iceland. Iceland is colder than England. So the sentence should be on the opposite. And we say, oh, England, England is not as cold as Iceland. England is not as, as, cold, as cold as cold as Iceland. 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 Okay. In this case, it is complete, right? Y aquí sí, ya tenemos la oración completa. Inglaterra no es tan helado como Islandia, right? Because it, Iceland is colder than England. So Iceland is the winner. Good. This chair is expensive. This chair is also expensive. This chair is as expensive as that chair. Okay. This chair is as expensive as that chair. Okay. This chair is as expensive as that chair. Cualquiera que compre vale lo mismo. It's as expensive as the other one. Andrew is lazier than Wendy. So Andrew is the winner. He's the top lazy people here. Andrew is lazier than Wendy. Wendy, Wendy is, is not, not lazy as Andrew. Andrew. Wendy is not as lazy as Andrew. Andrew. Okay? Because uh, he is the winner of laziness, right? Carol and David are both 10 years old. Carol, 
Is as old as David. As old as David. Very good job. Carol is is as old as David. 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 Cuando usamos esta frase de as old as, es tan viejo como yo. Sí, tenemos la misma edad. Right? Carol is as old as David. Excellent job on your sentences. Ok, si no las teníamos así, corrijámoslas. And let's fix the issue there. Ok. Edgar, tell me. Ok, I, I was wondering why we didn't have that 10, like 50%. Uh -huh. uh, Sometimes when I, I try to get like nine o'clock, the there appears a, a message that said that the meeting is busy right now in in, in, in another meeting. Uh -huh. You can connect right now. Exactly. But then when I connect, it says recording in progress. And there's yeah. when the time starts running. Okay. Cuando dice por ahí, recording in progress, then you start running. Okay. And then the, you're I, I've been there all the time. I know, I know. Say, I recording the program. Yeah, you have been you have been there. But it's like maybe 49.9% and yeah, that, exactly. that's the difference, right? But okay. that's when it starts, right? When it says recording in progress, I should have all of you there already. Okay. So, that is like like the the be little clear. thing. The, yeah? And then I'm going uh, I'm going to check uh, my watch. Uh -huh. uh, what time is in your watch? Ah, okay, that's a very good thing. Very good question. Let me see. Let me check on my watch. I use the one in the computer. Right now on my watch is a one minute to 10. Mm. In mine is two minutes. Ah, you see? In, in, <laughs> in my five minutes. Five minutes? No, I am yeah. using the one in the computer. Uh, in my tree. <laughs> right now, in, in my, my two. In, in my, my tree. My two. In my computer, I am missing two minutes. And on my phone, I am missing two minutes, right? But the time that I have here for Zoom is 10 o'clock right now. Ahorita tiene las 10 en punto. Okay. But I will, I, so then I will try to connect two minutes before so I can go with your watches. Me voy a conectar entonces dos minutos antes de sus relojes. So okay. you, I can be on time for you. Mm -hmm. Miss, me podría compartir la, what, la presentación. For sure, I can do it. Also, if you don't need to have the presentation, eh, you can watch the recording when we when uh, on YouTube, you can watch the recording of the class in YouTube. So tomorrow we are going to be working on this. We are going to be working on wish. I wish, right? The use of wish. Where do you wish you live? Do you wish you own a dog? It's like, ¿qué quisieran? ¿Cuáles son sus deseos? Mm. Where do you wish to live in another country? Yes, no, or why? And that will be, one of these will be the question for the audio tomorrow, okay? What food do you wish you ate more often? ¿Qué le gustaría? ¿Qué desearían comer más seguido? Do you wish you had a different name? Why or why not? Right? Do you wish your teacher gave you more homework? Why or why not? No. Right? <laughs> no, teacher, no, not anymore, right? So tomorrow we are going to be working with wish. Right, we're going to be using it for sentences and conversations. So uh, get ready for that. We are going to use it tomorrow and we are going to be working as well on the book, right? We are going to be working on the book and you're going to be working on the manual. Here on your manual, you have more examples of what we have been doing, right? Aquí tienen más ejemplos y pueden seguir creando oraciones. You have, there are only a few windows, not enough. There are not enough windows, right? You can create more examples from the ones that you have here, okay? And here's the topic that we're going to use tomorrow, common wishes about people, right? So we are going to be working with wishes and we are also going to work on the reading, okay? So please, if you can advance on that, that would be perfect. Si encuentran palabras nuevas o vocabulario nuevo en la lectura, las pueden ir anotando para usarlas mañana en clase, okay? So that will be for tomorrow, my dear students. 
Have a wonderful night. And I'm going to see you. Have tomorrow. a wonderful night, teachers. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Night, Bye, teacher. teacher. I am Bye. as tired as you. <laughs> <laughs> Have a wonderful night. Bye. Bye.